and welcome to the CockroachDB Admin UI. Today, we'll be examining new features introduced with the launch of our 2.1 release. We'll be looking at the statements page to see what types of statements are being generated by our workload, and then drill into a specific statement fingerprint to see what we can learn about its performance. Let's take a look at the statements page now. Before our 2.1 release, it would have been difficult to observe exactly which statements are being executed in this cluster. ORMs can obfuscate what SQL they are generating, and logging the generated statements can take some time to set up. That's where this new statements page comes in. On the statements page, it is now easy to see what statements my workload is issuing, along with some performance information. Statements and performance statistics are aggregated by their fingerprints, a grouping of similar SQL statements by replacing the literal values with underscores. You can see the full fingerprint of any statement by hovering over it. Each fingerprint shows aggregated performance information. By default, fingerprints are sorted by time, the total amount of time spent executing statements that match this fingerprint in your cluster. This can be thought of as the count multiplied by the service latency. You can also see the total number of retries for a fingerprint, along with the mean and standard deviation of the number of rows affected and service latency. Let's drill into this update statement and see what we can learn about its performance. This is the statement details page, and here we can see more information about statements that match this fingerprint. We can see the full fingerprint of the statement at the top, and we see the performance information that was on the statements page off to the right. This information is broken down further here. For example, we can now see service latency broken out by phase in order to understand where exactly statements are spending their time during execution. This node section reveals additional information about statements. It shows how the latency differed based on the gateway node to which a statement was sent. CockroachDB clusters are symmetric. Any node can accept a statement and then route it to the correct nodes for processing. This cluster is geographically distributed, with one node in Western Europe and two nodes in US East. The geographic distribution explains why latencies on node 3 are higher than nodes 1 and 2. If the leaseholder for the range we are accessing is on node 3, we have to pay a cross-Atlantic round-trip latency penalty in order to achieve quorum. If the leaseholder is on nodes 1 or 2, we still have to pay the same penalty in order to communicate with the leaseholder for the range. Using this information, we can revisit our cluster setup and make changes to improve performance. To recap, today we took a look at some new features around statements that have been introduced to the CockroachDB admin UI as part of the 2.1 release. We saw the new statements page, which aggregates statements by fingerprint and shows the performance information such as total time, average service latency, and rows affected. We then drilled into a specific fingerprint to learn more about its performance characteristics, such as the breakdown of the overall latency by execution phase and average latency by gateway node, which can give us ideas about how to tune performance. To learn more about these features and other additions to CockroachDB in the 2.1 release, don't hesitate to check out our release notes and documentation at cockroachlabs.com.